open, even if the cloud is not, a IBM breakout session for CloudSlam 10. We know that it's been a, a long three days for everyone. Hopefully you have enjoyed participating in many of these sessions throughout the CloudSlam 10 event that has been going on. Um, and we thank you for joining us here and spending the next hour with us as um, we hear from Doug Tidwell, who is IBM's senior software engineer in IBM's Emerging Technology Group. Doug is an experienced speaker, um, having spoken at the first XML conference in 1997 and has been working with markup languages, web services, SOA technologies, um, and others for years. He's a technology, his job as a technology evangelist is to explain the standards and technologies behind cloud computing and to help customers integrate them into their overall business architectures and strategies. Doug is the author of many articles on My Developer Works uh, website, and he's also authored uh, a couple of books on um, open standards and, uh, and, and XSLP. So with that, I will turn it over to Doug. Doug's going to, again, you know, talk to us about some of the, the tips and hints that you can take to avoid a vendor lock-in as you think about cloud computing. morning or evening, uh, whatever it may be, uh, where you happen to be. Uh, as Janine said, my name is Doug Tidwell. I work in IBM's Emerging Technologies Group. Uh, what my group does is work with standards for new technologies as they come along. So over the years, we've done a lot uh, with XML, with web services, uh, and other things you probably use uh, every day. Uh, what we're focusing on right now is cloud computing and trying to figure out where we need standards, if we need standards, uh, where there are cases where we simply need to apply the standards that we have already. We'll be talking about that over the next few minutes. So if you look uh, at our quick agenda here, I want to say a few words about standards in general. Uh, standards uh, can be an, uh, uh, an interesting and unusual way uh, to make a living. Uh, there are certain things that have to happen with a standards effort uh, to make it successful. We'll talk about what those things are. Uh, we'll also say a couple of words about cloud computing itself, uh, just to very briefly frame the discussion about standards and openness. After that, we'll talk a little bit about some principles of openness. Uh, there are a number of uh, principles that were set forth a uh, little over a year ago uh, in something called the Open Cloud Manifesto, and we'll talk about that uh, in more detail uh, as we get there. It's a set of principles uh, that talk about how cloud providers uh, should go about their business as well as the things that users should be looking for uh, to keep things open. From there, we'll talk a good bit about requirements. Uh, a big part of my job is working with users and trying to clearly define what people need. So before we really talk about uh, where we need standards, we really need to be clear about what people are going to be doing with the cloud. So as you take a look at, at what you'd like to do, how you'd like to use the cloud, then it should become fairly obvious what areas have the potential for vendor lock-in and which of those areas can be solved with existing standards, which areas uh, might need new standards, and which areas probably don't need standards at all. We'll take a look at a couple of examples of things that IBM is working on with, with other companies around the world. Uh, specifically, the Simple Cloud API uh, and LibCloud, uh, those are ways to address some of the differences between various cloud services without writing code that specifically ties you to a particular vendor. We'll also talk about uh, a number of standards efforts uh, that are going on. Uh, there are at least half a dozen groups, uh, half a dozen standards bodies that are looking at cloud computing. 
Uh, in most cases, if you look at what they're doing, it's a reasonable extension of the work they were doing before the cloud. Uh, but despite that, it can still be confusing as to what exactly uh, uh, each group is doing and how one piece of work relates to another. So moving on to a couple of words about standards. On slide four, uh, we, we talk about the cloud itself. Uh, this is one of my favorite uh, anecdotes. Uh, this came